Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another video. Catch up with me again next to this small river. Uh, if you saw the previous video, it's the same river as that. Different stretch. Stretch fished a few times this season, sort of three times, I think, this season. So I don't know it particularly well, but uh, it looks a nice stretch. And as I say, I'm back at this river, if you saw yesterday's video, because it's bang on. The colour is absolutely wonderful. It looks, looks wonderful. Back out again to do some trotting. I bought with me my Dower Tournament Pro 15 foot rod and on there as you can see there's a stick float this is a Drake alloy stemmed stick float and I've got my trusty Abu Garcia 506 Mark II closed face reel 8th of March today about half three in the afternoon and yeah less than a less than a week of the river season left unfortunately so I am trying to make the most of it obviously lots of other things going on in the world at the moment as you've probably noticed I've changed my logo on my channel and my all my social media accounts just to reflect my support for the Ukrainian people for what it's worth you know my my little channel but uh, it all counts doesn't it and just to to as I say just to get, offer some support to the uh, to their struggle but back to the fishing, yes, I'm gonna have a go at trotting, although it's very windy today. I sort of, a couple of swims up here, which I think will be sheltered enough to do a bit of trotting. Um, one of them, unfortunately, is a bit downstream from here and there's a huge fire on the other side, a uh, controlled fire, someone's had like a bonfire, burning some old brushwood and stuff. Uh, and it's very, very smoky down there, so I'm not gonna fish that, certainly not until that fire dies down or goes out. We've got a couple to do up here. We'll fish just into dark. We've got a couple of hours till it gets dark. And uh, just see if we can wink all the old chub out, perhaps a nice roach or two, who knows. I've got some uh, mashed bread with me, as I like to do. I can fish bread on the hook. I've got some worms as well. And I've also got a couple of pints of maggots, which we could go with. But uh, I'm going to travel light, going to get around, do a bit in a few swims and just see how we get on. Right, enough waffling, I think. We'll, uh, we'll have a crack in here first and it's just a lovely run you'll see in a minute when i i'll put the camera around this side we'll uh just got a lovely run down here we'll just see how we get on so i've just been getting a bit of mashed bread in <laughs> horrible messy stuff as i say we'll we'll fish bread i think mainly but uh you might go on the maggot or use a worm as i, as I mentioned yeah it does look good it's about a foot or so visibility it's a lovely color but uh, hopefully the, the fish will play ball. We had a frost again last night, which uh, I'm sure is not going to help things. But uh, my pond was frozen over this morning when I got up. But hopefully it hasn't uh, dented the water temperature too much and we can uh, we can winkle a few fish out. Right. As I say, I'm travelling very light today. I've just got my bag with me. Landing net and my rod, of course. Now I have actually got keeping it with me just in case we sort of drop on some fish in one particular swim and we want to stick around because obviously it's a tiny little river like this returning fish immediately into the swim is uh, is going to be very bad news for the fishing so if we fancied it we could put the keeping it in well the reason really for bringing it was that uh, I used it yesterday and I didn't put it out earlier today <laughs> I didn't dry it out so it's actually behind me drying at the moment. So if we don't need it, we're certainly not going to use it. Not a massive fan of keep nets anyway. Right. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'll winkle a few fish out. Yesterday started off fantastic. If you've seen the last video. <laughs> started off fantastic, didn't it? And then, uh, and then that was that. <laughs> so hopefully we can do a bit of a better job today. It was... Uh, Pretty hard going yesterday, aside from the one swim. We'll, uh, oh, blowing that wind is strong. <laughs> Anchor the camera down a bit. <laughs> right, let's get a bit of bread flake on and we'll have a crack. I'm not sure how well we're going to do in the short term. So just as I was walking up, I noticed there was a guy walking around and he's, uh, from the look of it, done a fantastic job of skylining all the swims 
walking uh, around the, along the top of the bank. Angler, I presume, because it's uh, angler only access here. Just very slow run through here. <laughs> Thought it was perhaps a little bit, a little bit faster than this, but blimey, that wind is strong. We'll uh, we'll give it a few minutes, perhaps 15, 20 minutes in here. There's not a huge amount of swims to do along this stretch, so we can afford to give them all, you know, sort of half an hour by the time we've got in and got the gear set up and stuff. And we'll still be able to do sort of four swims. The wind is supposed to drop off, which would be good because I fancied going around this corner here, and uh, <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be very windy around there. It's going to be a facer around there, a little bit sheltered here. That's running down there, just lovely. I only ever fished this swim once before, a ledger, and I uh, was fishing over sort of towards the cover on the other side and had a roach. There's clearly a few fish in here. Not sure on the depth, but we'll, uh, we'll just get deeper and deeper and deeper until we start dragging bottom, I think. It's running down there nicely. If we can get a few fish feeding, it'd be cracking. Give it a bit of time on, on mashed bread and we'll practice go on maggots. We can't get anything going. Can't hit these bites. Very, very rapid, fast plucks on the on the float. I'm convinced it's minnows. But I'm uh, thinking now we need to move. Time for a move. Give it a good, good twenty minutes of fishing time. Yep, I think we've just got one of the culprits. Yep, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I think it's these fellas. So we'll uh, we'll have a move. So I fancy going down now. I'm sure that fire stopped now. Back you go. And then we have to come for our perch bait. Right, we'll get off downstream. Get to that swim down there and uh, see if we can do a bit better than this one. <laughs> Hopefully. Running a bait through here, we can uh, wickle one or two out. Right, I'm going to go back on the bread mash. I think we've got a better stand, a chance stand, a better chance of catching some chub with that. We'll keep the uh, maggots in reserve, just in case. Yeah, I'm going to go with the uh, with the bread mash to start with. We'll have 20 minutes, half an hour in here, just running a bit of flake around. Right, I'm going to make this the last run through. Then we'll uh, we'll get off upstream. Because uh, there's not a lot happening here. Float keeps going down around about there. But where the water shallows up a bit, I think. It's just actually, just before we go, I've got a worm on at the moment. I'm just going to 
flick it over there where there's a bit of sort of slacker water. Oh, it's static actually on that other side, that water. Just a sort of far side crease that is. Just let it run through there. Just try to keep, keep the line out of the flow. under again there. Right. Nothing doing. Let's move. So this is the next swim I fancied. Got a lovely run through here. Bit of a slack in front of that tree where uh, a few videos ago now had a couple of nice chub really when it was really really getting dark I did think about dropping into this peg after it's got dark or not after it's got dark when it's getting dark and sort of fishing just beyond that raft first which is the other peg I had in mind but the thing is I'm sort of baiting up this peg from here uh, baiting up that peg sorry from here so I don't really want to fish down stream and work my way up. So, I'm just gonna spend a few minutes just putting a bit of mashed bread in here. And we can run down, we can even run to sort of level with the bottom of that raft if we want. Run it around perhaps into that slack. Over there. I'm sure we'll get a fish in here. It looks cracking. <laughs> it's very wet here. I'm stood on something which I think was uh, probably underwater, maybe yesterday or possibly the day before. It's very wet. Not a problem. Got my boots on. Right. Fingers crossed. A nice big fat early spring, late winter chub. Or a clunking great roach. Right, see what happens. Not sure about depth in here really. We'll just let that run through and then just go deeper and deeper until we're dragging. If we can't get anything going in here, and as I said, the bait's going to be ending up in the next swim down, which is exactly what we want, really. If we can't get anything going, then quite possible there's no fish here. And like I say, in which case, the next peg down will be getting the bait. It does get much fish this stretch, but I don't think this these two swims here get match fish because there's just no there's no pegs it's sort of make your own swim sort of place so i'm guessing the fish here these sort of this area and that next peg down don't really see too much pressure not a particularly long trot down here but it's not a problem It was very different conditions last time. I fished that over in that slack over there. Water was very low. Barely moving, to be honest. See, now that is, my float is sat very high there. 
like on Mars too deep. So I've got the Olivets set pretty low. Yeah, see there's no depth there at all. A bit further in. Same there, fishing on the bottom there. <laughs> necessarily a bad thing there. Oh, there we go. It's not a bad thing at all because we got a bite. Oh, how did I miss that? Definitely a bite. Well, someone's just taken that. It's on the bottom there. It's just taken that. I missed it somehow. Right, I'm going to shallow up a little bit. Just a few inches. We'll have another go in there. I don't know, I missed that. The float went, <laughs> went plodding off down the, down the swim. Struck and I missed it. <laughs> Goodness only knows how. Let's put a little bit more mash in there. Right. Right, now we're off the bottom. I think that's a bite. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Blimey. What's this? It would show, I think. Scrapping like a little chub. <laughs> oh, is it a roach? I think it's a really nice roach. Oh my goodness me. It's a clonking great roach. <laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. You know, a couple of times it came to the top and I thought, is that a chub? Oh, blimey. Wow. Well, guys, how's about that? <laughs> Just put it on the scales, one pound ten. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. What a fish, superb. <laughs> with the moon with that, that's absolutely fantastic. Wow, what a fish. <laughs> awesome. Well, what a fish, wow. <laughs> From this tiny little river, wonderful stuff. Uh, starting to get dark, but, uh, we'll have another go, just for perhaps another 10 or 15 minutes we've got left, I think, before it gets dark. It's going very cloudy as well. Certainly won't uh, do the fishing any harm. But wow, this river's been uh, kind to me this year with roach. A couple of times I saw it come up and I thought it looked like a little chub as it was sort of out there putting, putting up a scrap. Um, but then it did sort of pop into my head. That looks a little bit like a roach. Looked a bit too deep bodied. <laughs> Try not to sink here. Oh, wow. Well, perhaps he's down there with his big brother. <laughs> Being greedy now, aren't I? Once again, fishing on a size 12 hook. And usually, if I'm chubbing, I'll use a size 6. But because I've had some nice roach this year, I sort of scaled down, even though I'm fishing a big bit of bread flake. 
scaled down just in case. That's a nice roach about and it's, it's certainly paid off, I have to say. We'll give it a few minutes in here and I think, assuming we've got time, I think we probably have, we'll perhaps have a few minutes. There's a slack obviously behind this. Behind this tree that's in the water here, there's a slack in there. So we'll perhaps try there as well before we go. Well, I think that's an awesome, that's an awesome fish from a muddy little river in the Midlands. And you can see as well, I mean, it is a, it is a little river. I could actually, literally, I can touch the other bank with my 15 foot rod here. <laughs> it is a little river. Obviously it has wider sections, but you know, I could literally, I can t touch the reeds on the other side with, with my rod in this particular swim. Wonderful. Right, I think I'm gonna do nothing really else going on here at the moment. We'll go a little bit further down there, just the other side of this snag and we'll fish the slack that's behind it. Just take a few bits and pieces and then we may come back and finish off in here as it gets dark perhaps we'll see right another drop in down there as you can imagine as this fast water comes through on the inside here there's a bit of a slack over that side we can just perhaps run a float down just that crease on the other side, or even in the slack. See if there's any more nice surprises about the place. There we go. What's this? This feels very chub like. <laughs> it's like a reasonable fish. <laughs> Just hold in station. Yes, sure it's a chub. I'm trying to get under my feet. Yes, trying to get in the undercut bank, <laughs> right by my feet. <laughs> God, I've got some power! Wow, supercharged. <laughs> not even, not even a huge fish. <laughs> A yeah, nice one. Certainly rather catch him than not. Gotta be, gotta be getting tired now. Nope. <laughs> what a scrap. Oh, it is a nice fish. That's why. <laughs> wow. Wonderful. What a cracking fish. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, there we are. That's why you put it such a cracking scrap. Lovely fish. Wonderful condition too. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> well, the drop in light has certainly uh, brought things to life, brought the river to life. Wonderful. <clears throat> Sun's gone down now. It's, uh, it's 
certainly getting on. I haven't got too much longer left being able to see this float. But we'll, uh, we'll carry on for a few minutes. See if we can winkle this big brother out. <laughs> I can get much bigger than that in this river. Once again, the wind has completely wrapped up my rod. There we go. Well, interestingly, he was sat right in a current down here. So we'll just uh, let that run down with the flow. And usually it does seem to be that down in the river seems <laughs> on the river bed does seem to be faster water than and we've got on the top which is very bizarre but I'm not holding the float back and it's definitely going through bait first as I said we'll have the last 10 minutes or so in here See if we can have uh, <laughs> have another nice surprise. Not that I'm being greedy, obvious, obviously. Well, it's looking like that's it. I think we've got about five minutes left to be able to see what we're doing. And I'll uh, we'll keep trotting till we can't see any more. I think we may be done for the evening, fish-wise. Aside from minnows in that first swim, we've had two bites and two fish. No, correction, three bites. I missed a bite in here first, didn't I? Right, I think I am going to call this the last run through. Well, run through. I'm not going to let it run through. I'm going to stick it over near that slack. I'll give it a couple of minutes and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a day, I think. What is the... Aside from the couple of lovely fish we've had, it's actually been <laughs> surprisingly hard going. You wouldn't think so from what we've caught in, what, three hours? But... Uh, Certainly hasn't been easy. Sure, there must be some chub living under <laughs> that raft and in those tree roots, but they don't seem to want to come out and play today. I'm not interested in uh, in any bread. No, that's it. But I have to say. I am going home a very happy chappy, most definitely. It's been a, a cracking session, hard, hard going, but definitely a very, very enjoyable session. <laughs> Excuse the noises, me squelching about in the mud. <laughs> well, blimey, it does look light on this camera, but uh, I'm struggling to see this float and it's probably only 25 foot away from me, something like that, not far at all. And as I say, I'm really struggling to see it. So I'm gonna call it a day at that, but uh, yeah. Wonderful session, hard going but wonderful. That lovely roach and uh, and that cracking chub. But yeah, not too many bites at all, aside from those minnows at the beginning. <laughs> now, bearing in mind we are the 8th of March today, I am gonna get out in the very near future. I'm not sure exactly when, possibly tomorrow, but certainly the day after if not. 
and have a, uh, I'm going to have a look at the Avon and the Y and, and various rivers and Severn to see what condition every, every river is in and then choose what to do and where to go then. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support and I'll see you all again very, very soon.